Today we're going to talk about all the Lego colors. I am so excited for this. I have been wanting to do this video for a while. I actually contacted Lego and asked them what all their colors were and I didn't hear back. So if I hear back, we will have a part two of all the Lego colors. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crown Collection. I hope you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you're doing. And let me tell you, Lego has been a major trend for art lately. Right now I'm gonna tell you all the current Lego colors. These are all the colors that you can get right now pretty easily. I'm an art channel, like why would I care about Lego? I feel like Lego is starting to come into that art realm. They have a lot of new products that they've come out with, Lego dots for girls, and then they have these flower ones that they came out with earlier this year. And then they have Lego dots for like Star Wars and like the Beatles. They're really capitalizing on those small, little Legos to be able to do art with. I think that's really cool that Lego has recognized that their colors are really unique and they can use them to make art. But part of the problem with anything, with Sharpie, with Crayola that we've seen with like the super tips and the Sharpie markers, is that there's no color names. And when there's no color names, it makes it really hard for artists to communicate with each other the colors they're using. Let's say you're doing a painting or something like that and you go and you, you don't exactly remember what color it was that you used and you're trying to come back to it. If you had had a name for it, you could have maybe said, this is my color palette off on the side, but right now you have to go and label those and then come back. With Legos, there is no way to know what colors are which. Right now, I found about 67 current Lego colors. There could be the more or less, depending. Actually, there's probably just a tad more, but some of them are super rare. Maybe later this year, I'll do a part two on those more rare colors that you can get that might be discontinued or they might be in one offsets. But these are the colors that you can pretty much get. Some of them are a little bit harder than others and some of them you won't be able to find in those little dots so you wouldn't be able to make art with them. But these are the general idea for the Lego's color. In 2016, Lego came out with their color palette and they released it and they actually put the colors into color families. The color families were black, white, gray, silver, lilac, blue, dark green, green, yellow, bright orange, reddish brown, red, purple, and gold. And I think it's interesting to know they didn't do like a pink one, they did a purple one and then a lot of the colors that are in there are purple and the actual purple colors are in the lilac color family. So what had happened at up to this point in 2016 is people didn't know the colors for Lego. So there are a lot of websites that were kind of guessing and there's a place where you can sell your Legos and they kind of had their own color system because they had to be able to identify the color so that other people could buy these Legos. They still use like their old color system, but me, whenever a company starts releasing names, I feel like we should revert to those names and say, hey, these are the old names, but we're gonna say the new names because then it's a lot easier because now on the Lego website, if you go under shop Legos, you can look for them individually. They will actually show you different colors and color families that you can shop from. And that's how I found some of these color names is I went in here and I said, oh look, these are some of the golds they have. These are the, some of the lilacs. These are some of the purples they have. And that's how I found out what color family it, they were in. I have all this stuff on my website, this chart that I showed you. You guys can go look at it in the color family. If I didn't know the color family because it wasn't on the website, I put an asterisk by there at the best guess for the color family and the color names because sometimes we don't know the color names. But I feel like just being able to document this and going forward and hopefully encouraging Lego to do the same so that way artists can use these colors in their color palette and then once you have like a defined color and you know what the color is, you can go in and then you can match colored pencils, you can match paint to it, so you can really bring these Legos into an art piece. Let's go through all the color names because this is the heart of the video. In black, we have black and titanium metallic. And I put all of these together on this board because I went out and bought this whiteboard and I was like, I wanna have all of the colors just on this board. I think it'll be so fun. It's been nice to be able to have all the colors here. So that way too, I can show them to you as we're going along. All the whites are transparent white, 
white glitter, white, and white glow. We have dark stone gray, medium stone gray in the gray line. And then the silver, which is I think is interesting because the gray and the silver line are very similar. I feel like they could have almost put them together. We have cool silver drum lacquered, silver metallic, metallized silver. And a lot of these silvers and golds, they can put different components on top of them. So you'll see slight differences when you're looking. In the lilac, we have medium lavender, lavender, medium lilac, bright violet glitter, and bright violet. In the blues, we have earth blue, we have bright blue, light royal blue, transparent blue, medium blue, transparent fluorescent blue, and sand blue. And the earth blue and the sand blues are the ones that are kind of rare in these. In the blues, we have dark azure, medium azure, light bluish green, light blue with glitter, light blue, and aqua. Then in the dark green, we have sand green, which is rare. We have earth green, dark green, bright green, bright yellowish green, spring yellowish green, and olive green. And then in green, we have transparent green, transparent bright green, which is weird because the transparent green that's in the green is similar to the green in the dark green, but that's how Lego did it. So I want to make sure that I keep consistent because if we get more information from Lego, we'll be able to transfer that. Then we have transparent fluorescent green, transparent fluorescent green with glitter. So some of those are yellow, some of those are green. They could probably eliminate that category, but oh well. <laughs> in the yellow, we have flame yellow orange, bright yellow, transparent yellow, cool yellow. And I have a few more oranges that I found when I was doing this, so I think some of them might be retired colors, and we will get into that as we go. I plan on going on to the places where you can purchase all these Legos and purchasing all these individual Legos so I can get all the retired colors. But right now I wanted to show you what you can get currently. In the gold, we have warm gold, warm gold, drum lacquered, and metallized gold, and this is one where you're gonna see a lot of differences also. In the bright orange, we have vibrant coral, which is a new, newish color. Then we have transparent reddish orange, bright orange, transparent bright orange, and then in reddish brown, which is basically browns, but some of them are yellowish browns, but I don't know, they're in the reddish brown category. We have dark brown, reddish brown, dark orange, medium nougat, nougat, light nougat, sand yellow, transparent brown, and brick yellow. And then in the reds, we have new dark red, bright red, and transparent red. And then in purple, which is not really purple, it's more pink, but we have bright reddish violet, transparent medium reddish violet, bright purple, and light purple, which I would actually say it's bright pink and light pink. But for the sake, because Lego has told us these names, I'm gonna use these names. You can find this chart and I have matched the hex and the RGB codes as closely as I can. Sometimes with the transparent, you have to go in between where they're gonna be, because if they're up next to something, they're gonna be a different color because they are transparent. It's as close as you can get a representation on the computer, if that makes sense. I wanted to show you guys under the Lego. So you have the Lego logo. Then you also have this part number down here in the corner. Then you also have this right here. You can see a little better on this gold. We have Lego. Then we also have like this part number, which is 14769. Then we also have this 17 05. And I don't know what that is. If you guys know, let me know. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys found all the colors. And when you're looking at your Legos now, you can be like, oh, that's this color. If you have any questions how to figure out these colors, let me know. And you can download this worksheet on my website or I'll leave it in the link below in the description so you guys can get your own Lego chart and find out all the colors. And then I'll be giving more updates on YouTube and in my email as I find out more colors. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.